So the other day I'm in the garage and I smell this burning plastic melting type smell and I couldn't figure out what it was. And this was just after I installed a new water heater. And so I was kind of paranoid that maybe it was the new water heater. So I went over the water heater, checked it out. There's nothing going on there. Of course, I was worried about the possibility of my electric vehicle potentially burning because there's been some reports in the media of these cars catching on fire. And I ruled out that as a cause. And then finally, I thought, well, what else could it be? And I happened to have the vehicle charging at the time. And I was like, you know what? Let me check the car charger. So I went over to this charger right here. And sure enough, it smelled like it was near fire it smelled like melted plastic so i immediately flipped the breaker unplugged the car let this sit for a while and then i went ahead and opened it up and look at it and sure enough i found inside here the main connection point was completely melted the plastic had actually started to drip out and so i'm glad i was here to catch it because i don't know how bad this could have progressed this might have turned into a fire and it could have been a really bad day so from that point i want to know well why did this happen and initially i thought it was a manufactured defect this was installed, I think, properly, but the problem looked to be right at the connection point where the installation wires, where the power comes from the house into the box itself. And so I looked at the connection point and to me, it didn't look robust enough to handle the heavy gauge wire going in and perhaps to handle the amperage loads that's required with this. So I thought maybe that was the problem, something on the manufacturer side. So I called the company and talked to them and sure enough, the first thing they said it was probably an installation error because if for some reason the wires are loose in here, that could create arc and a lot of heat and that could cause the problem that happened. Or in my mind, I thought maybe it was some faulty component with this device. Now I wanted to be fair, I didn't wanna put blame where it wasn't necessary. So I looked at this a little bit further and tried to figure it out. So I went ahead and I took the bus bar, what I'm gonna call it, the connection point that's built in this thing to get a better look at it and see if it was better quality than I initially thought. When I took it apart, this was the bus bar that came pre-installed in the car charger. This was one of the power wires coming in. This was another power wire coming in and this was the ground here. And this was a problem where this had started to melt and this literally had plastic, looked like a raindrop coming down. You can see here, it burnt all the way through. Maybe that's where the arcing was right there. I looked on the back and sure enough, this thing said it was rated for the heavy gauge wire that I put in there. It just had these little screws. It didn't seem like they were ideal for providing the torque necessary to keep these wires nice and snug, at least over the long term. So to me, it didn't look right, but according to the specs on the device, it, I guess it was a kosher piece of equipment for this type of thing. So I really couldn't say what the issue was, but then I thought about a little bit more and I went to inflate my tires the other day. And what I realized is I had this air compressor right here. And when you turn this thing on, it vibrates like crazy. So basically the vibration from this would have maybe caused the tensioner screw in the bus bar to slowly loosen over time. And maybe I did have a little bit of gap in there, creating that high heat situation that was problematic where this thing started to melt. So in this case, I think the fault is likely on my end because of this, this shouldn't be here. I will probably just remove this. I may try to put some insulation in it to uh, reduce the vibrations, but it's probably best just to move this. This probably shouldn't be next to this electrical component here. In the meantime, I went ahead and fixed this. I replaced the bus bar with a generic one. Seems to be working fine now, but I will keep an eye on it. I never charge the cars when I'm not around anymore. One, because of this, and two, because of a current recall on the vehicle we have. So just wanted to share that just in case it's helpful for anyone else out there. You gotta be careful with anything that has a high amperage load. It's probably good practice to check your high amperage connections every now and then on things like car chargers and, and even your breakers as well. So just wanna share that, hoping it might help somebody maybe help prevent uh, catastrophic situations. So thanks for watching. What I think happened is with that vibration, this thing's wiggling, this thing kind of just slowly backed itself out and this wire basically got loose and then that looseness basically caused it to arc and or get really, really hot. Now, interesting note here is on the manufacturer side, this went to the rest of the charger and you can see these little red lines here. These had like a, an adhesive or a silicone or something I guess to help prevent the screws from backing out. So maybe that would have been something good to do on the install side as well. Because there was, there was, I don't think there was any problem with these.